hello guys welcome to my channel in today's video i'm going to be walking you through layers fit formulation accurate and effective fit formulation required someone to have adequate knowledge on quantifying the amount of fit ingredient that is needed to be combined to form a single uniform mixture that is called a diet a single mistake made during fit formulation would result to a serious consequences as well as incur a significant expenses when looking for a remedy that is why I'm here with you to guide you effectively all throughout the process in order to avoid making such mistakes and also you will learn how to prepare or formulate layers chick mash, grower mash as well as the layers mash. So but before we go deeply into the video make sure to subscribe to this channel and hit the bell notification icon. And don't forget to like this video and if you are getting value from this video encourage me to make more videos by leaving a comment on this video fit formulation required a thorough understanding of so many things but among some of the things that is required of a farmer to understand during fit formulation i have enumerated uh, the major ones that is and i time it what you need to know first of all you must have to understand the nutrient requirement of the class of poultry and then secondly you must have to understand ingredients in terms of composition and then you must have to understand cost and availability of the ingredients these are the major things you need to do and then you need to understand as a farmer when you intended to formulate your own poultry feed and then uh, in this video i will try as much as possible to give you the clear picture of poultry feed formulation particularly for layers and also tell you the do and don't first of all we are going to look at preparing of layers chick mash we are starting with layers chick mash so we intended to formulate a 50 kg bag of chick mash but before that you must have to understand that layers chick required feed with a digestible crude protein that is the dcp which is the number one factor to calculate during feed formulation and i have done the calculation already for you and provided you with the quantity and the volume of ingredients to be added to make that particular feed so it requires a dcp of between 18 to 20 percent and also feed additives such as amino acids are important to maintain a balanced diet for fast growth so I have divided the ingredients into two. First, we have the macronutrients. The macronutrients, these are the major ingredients that must be available during the formulation, that must be present in the feed. These are the macronutrients. And then first we said, if you want to prepare a chick mash, that is layer beds that are within the age of one to four weeks, and then you intended to prepare 50 kg bag of chick mash what you need to do is you need to add 22.5 kg of a whole mess 6.5 kg of a wheat bran 5.0 kg of a wheat pollen i know this may sound a little bit new to some of you and then uh, a wheat pollen is just an extract from a protein stored as granule in the wheat seed is also a byproduct of flour milling in wheat and it is different from a wheat bran that is wheat pollen it is very important during the formulation of poultry if it is available in your own area you can be able to add it during the formulation and then we have 12 kg of sunflower and then also you should add 1.1 kg of a fish meal during chick mash uh, feed formulation of 50 kg back secondly we have the feed additives the feed additives these are the micro ingredients that are needed in the feed that is they are required in just small amount or small quantity in order to balance the nutritional requirement or to balance some of uh, the vitamins or minerals that are not uh, enough in the macro ingredients so you need to add 1.25 kg of lime 30 gram of salt 20 gram of premix 70 gram of tryptophan 3.0 gram of lysine 10 gram of methionine 70 gram of threonine 
50 grams of enzymes and then enzymes enzymes their importance during feed formulation is that they cleave carbohydrate molecules so they can uh, act as a catalyst that is digestion now you should add 60 grams of cocaidiostat and then cocaidiostat is very important in the poultry feed it's used to retardate the growth of and reproduction of cocaidian parasite in the feed so it makes the field to be more healthier and more safe to poultry once there is a presence of it in the feed and then you must have to add 50 grams of toxin binder toxin binder is used to neutralize harmful chemicals in the feed or toxins that may seem to be very harmful to the beds so it is very important that you add toxin binder to the feed of the poultry that is that for the chick mash and then we are looking at the grower mash between four to eight weeks of age so if you have a layer beds you need to change from a chick mash at the age of four to eight weeks you are expected to feed them with a grower mash so what you need to do is you we are preparing 70 kg bag of growers feed so we have our macronutrients as we have discussed in the previous section of the chick mash macronutrients we have 10 kg of a whole mess if you are preparing 70 kg bag of a grower's feed 17 kg of a mess jam 13 kg of a wheat pollen 10 kg of a wheat bran 6 kg of cotton seed cake 5 kg of sunflower cake 3.4 kg of soya meal 2.07 kg of lime 700 gram of bone meal and 3 kg of fish meal the reason why we are adding these ingredients like when you look at the lime and the bone meal this helps to straighten the shell of the egg so as growers are growing they are heading toward the production of egg so what you need to do is you must have to start preparing them for the egg production that is why it is advisable we use lime and then we use bone meal and then also another important of the lime in the feed is that it serves as a sun because these beds are restricted they are not on free range so this can help them very well during digestion so the lime is very very important it aids in digestion so this is a 70 kg preparation of a grower mash it is very important that you understand this and then it is very important that you provide those pullets or young layers with a feed having a dcp between 16 and 18 percent that is for the grower mash such feed makes the pullet to grow fast and prepare for egg laying that is why as i've explained we are adding lime and then we are adding the bone meal and you should also note that layers feed should never be fed to chicken younger than 18 weeks as it contains high amount of calcium and this may damage their kidney and also interfere with egg production it is also very important that you add limestone to growers feed that are not on free range i have explained that already to help them in digestion so this is a preparation and this is a macronutrient for a 70 kg bag of a growers feed so now the feed additives that you are expected to add we have you should add 14 gram of salt this help them to have more appetite during feeding they may take enough of this food and then enough of it can be converted to what you are expecting that is egg production so one gram of cocaidiostat i have explained the use of the cocaidiostat in the feed and then 18 grams of premix premix are, is nothing but a combination of vitamins so it will balance those vitamins that are missing in the macro nutrients so once you add premix to the feed it will add up to the vitamins content of that particular feed and then it is also very important during the formulation of the poultry feed now you add one gram of zinc basitra starch and the importance of zinc basitra starch is used to increase feed conversion that is breaking down of the feed and then utilizing it in the right direction and then you are expected to add 70 gram of mycotoxin binder that is what is used to neutralize harmful chemicals in the feed so all these things are very important during feed formulation and then you should just give a pario uh, attention to these particular feed additives
so the next thing we are going to look at we are going to prepare a layer mesh that is between 18 weeks and above that is to the point of uh, that is the point of uh, egg laying so at the edge of 18 weeks we expected layers beds to start uh, dropping eggs that is to say you may have maybe 10 percent of them have started dropping eggs so you don't expect the whole beds to start laying eggs at the same time so it is not done that way but you can have some little percentage of them having started to drop X around that particular 18 weeks. So layers feed should contain a digestible crude protein between 16 and 18 percent. And I have done the calculation of the crude protein already. The feed should contain calcium, that is lime, for the formulation of eggshells. So calcium or the lime is very important in the feed. As you can see, we are adding almost 60 kg of lime from this formula during the layer mash and you should also know that layers feet should be introduced at 18 weeks only when this bed reaches 18 weeks so you are expected to introduce layer mash to them so what you are expected to add we are adding 30 34 kg of a whole mess we are adding 12 kg of a soya 8 kg of a fish meal and then 10 gram of mess bran or rice jam or wheat bran so any of these things can be added to the feed but my advice to you is that it is very important that you go with the wheat bran reason being that wheat is a source of fiber and then once there is a fiber content in the feed of those poultry they may not accumulate uh, too much fat in their body and then when there is not too much fat in their own body what will happen is that they will take a longer time producing more eggs than the usual beds you see around and then it will help them to be very active and then they will not be very heavy and then it will help them to be producing more eggs and then bigger eggs in particular that is the importance of a wheat bran when it is used as another energy source so i advise you that you go with the wheat bran because it is a source of fiber in the feed so it is very important and then you can see the quantity of lime also is very much in the layers feed reason being that it helps them to prepare for the egg shells that is it helps in the formulation or the formation of egg shells so the egg shells can be more stronger so that you don't have broken eggs every time you want to pick up your eggs as this will also maximize your profit so it is very important you see once there is a broken X in the farm this is another part of the loss in the business and then we don't want that so it is very important that we consider these things very well and then put them into practice so that is it for the macronutrients so we have our feed additives so what we are expected to add we are expected to add 175 gram of premix 70 gram of lysine 35 gram of methionine 70 kg of threonine 35 gram of tryptophan 50 grams of toxin binder so we need so much of this amino acid in the feed of the layers as this will help them in fast growth and in egg production that is very important and if you want to produce your own quantity and you don't know how to do it meaning you don't want to produce 70 kg or you don't want to produce 50 kg of the chick mash maybe you have your own quantity that you intended to formulate maybe you want to produce 1000 kg or 300 kg or 400 kg or 500 kg so if you want to do that you should check the link in the description of this video i have explained that in my bro life feed formulation video and also download this particular formula in the description of this video as this will serve as a guide for you to produce your own particular feed so it is very important that you check the description of this video and then download this formula absolutely 100 percent free and then also check my video on broilers feed formulation as this will help you to know how to calculate your own quantity yourself if you don't want to go with the quantity i've explained in this video and then watch out for the next video and then don't forget if you are new to this channel don't forget to subscribe to this channel hit the bell notification icon and also if you are getting value from this video give this video a thumbs up like this video and also share it with your friends and family as this may tend to be very helpful to them have a nice day see you in the next video